So you got a yard full of bottles and doorknobs and bottles and doorknobs and bottles and doorknobs. And I've scrubbed a bunch of them. They're kind of getting clean, but not these because I have not scrubbed these. And I need a quicker, more reliable way to clean them. So I thought about this. I thought about that and that and this and copper wire. And I thought, how can I make my own copper wire shavings without cutting my hand off or it taking forever? And here's what I have come up with so far. And they're jamming. They're nice little uh, heavy chips and shavings and clippings and I've got to figure out a better process. I've got a drill press in the chicken house. But the chicken house is cold. This is not mounted down because this is not where it goes. So I've made it work. And I'll show you how I did it in a minute. My problem is I'm slinging these things everywhere. Oh my goodness. So here's what I did. I took a pipe. This is actually a brass pipe. And I got a drill bit about the same size as my brass pipe. And I drilled a hole into the brass pipe. And I stuck the brass pipe <laughs> right here. And you can guess what happens next. And it works. But I need to build a better mount. <clears throat> I have got many, many pieces of copper wire I pick up out of creeks and everywhere else. So I want to get you close so you can see this, maybe. So what you do is, I didn't have any decent drill bits, but my dad, who is a machinist tool and die maker, has a bazillion pat man that thing is sharp don't drag your finger right there tons and tons of this you got to get your rpms right or you're going to hurt your person and you need some of these on your face so and then you simply take your thing and like i said i need a better mount this is not the way to do it because every now and then it'll catch and it'll rip your arm off you just get a good speed going and probably steel would be better for your pipe but check it out you can't see that it works so this is the size of that wire and this is a little bit bigger and it even works with bigger wire and true, you have to have a pretty sharp drill bit and a decent drill. And, I, and you have to have it hooked in there a little tighter than I do. I just don't want to squeeze and bend my, my uh, pipe that's my actual fixture. So... It would be better if it was all mounted down on something, but it's not yet because this is just a trial run and I will clean up my process later. I wish it wouldn't twist like that. That's part of the problem. The smaller gauge is a lot quicker and a lot smoother. It eats it right up. I know what you're thinking. It's gonna suck my fingers in, but it doesn't. It doesn't pull you that way. I called, and you can buy this. It's pretty expensive per pound, though. It's a whole lot more than simple scrap copper prices. This is someone else has obviously developed a better way to do this. So if I can get about. 10, 15, 20 pounds of chopped up copper pieces 
I can begin my process is Z. And I think I'm wallering out my little brass thing here. Okay, I just come up with an idea. I've had the camera off for a few minutes pondering my existence. I think I'm gonna clean this table off, build a border, a big square border on here. And since this is nice and smooth, I'll just simply leave that right there and let everything fall right there and then sweep it off into whatever I'm sweeping it off into. Or we may move the whole process to the chicken house. But I gotta work around a tractors and dirt floors and all that kind of stuff so but it'd be a little more stable because this would be just sitting there like that and then i just run my wire in there and it doesn't rip my arm off and it won't bog down either hmm okay let's go <laughs> i had to get my camera set up Is that the way you sneak in when you're gonna hunt? Was that quiet enough? <laughs> it's ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh man. I gotta come down here and do some uh, straightening up of everything. That's a little heavier than it looks. We got a mess. All that fuzzy. You know what that is, I've told you before. That is poison ivy. Every bit of it, all this junk. Now that's a limb. No, it's not. Okay, maybe that's just fuzzy. Maybe it's not poison ivy. The creek is up. The problem is... There's a tree in the way. Right there. And it kind of looks like the Loch Ness Monster. I think that's what it is. I hope the water doesn't get any higher because I got to go back across it. And it's rained so hard and the creek will start growing and growing and growing over time. Due to all the rains. It's usually way up into here. But I'm hoping. Oh, I was going to show you something. There's a point. It's my new WildTech A4V2. I hope we get to utilize. It's just like all of them. It's waterproof. It's got the little charging port right there. Same one that fits in Android and most everything else. It's got a 5,000 uh, milliamp battery, MAH. That's pretty bright for just daytime. But uh, it also starts off with just barely settings. And then it's brighter, 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 brighter. Depending on how absolutely crazy you want to get but uh they sent me one to show y'all that's what i'm talking about right there that thing so if we harvest generally i don't have to track deer because i'm an incredible shot <laughs> So 
Let's look for arrowheads. I got over here late. For a very important date. So what we gotta do is be very, very quiet. I brought my pink field line pro series this is not an advertisement this is from a yard sale it's awesome and the pink brings out my eyes so what we want to do is uh we gotta prepare this my longest shot here is roughly 310 yards I'm on the money at uh, 100 straight aim with this, iron sights, no elevator needed because this doesn't exist on that particular rifle, but uh, that's okay. So 100 to 200, I'm in the zone. 300 slight lift, no big deal. That's about all we get in this field. One pretty cool thing is it just started raining real hard. This window right here, you gotta roll it up right there. And give it a tug and you gotta finish it. I cannot believe it started raining now. That's okay. So we're gonna go peek. I do not see any deer yet. I need my binoculars. Well, I think I was wrong. My longest shot's roughly 359 yards. That's okay, I suppose. There's another storm rolling in, so I'm done. I can't take a chance on the creek rising behind me. I won't be able to get back across it. Oops. It's got a pretty good straight beam. What I want is one that does not have the bright white center, but the whole circle is lit up. Because the bright white center bleaches out everything you're looking at. But the water is rising, so. I'll put the link to this, uh, yeah, it's rising. I'll put the link to this, what is this called? It's flashlight, it's torch, one of those things. I mean, it looks like there's plenty of daylight out there and there kinda is. If I had a scope, I'd still be in the zone, but with the storms coming in, I gotta move. Let's go do something else. I'm not a big fan of taking all blue through a lot of water. But you gotta get back across, right? So let's go. I cannot seem to make my old blue stop losing antifreeze, and I don't think it's coming out of the uh water pump because I have replaced it checked it out that is a massive hunk of mica I may have showed you this a couple of years ago but I retrieved it from the bearded ones camp because he had no interest anymore and kind of just wanted it out of his yard you know the little circle pieces of mica that we get that I get out of the bottle dump this is the same thing it's just simply poured off in sheets and cut and a massive hunk look at that thing of course, it's getting a little uh, moss growing on it. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with this stuff. Probably because it's fascinating. What we're gonna do now is go 146 yards up there to the pink thing. Because my old Winchester 94 was hanging up. So I just did a couple of walking iron sight shots and we'll see if I hit it. Let's go. The problem with it losing antifreeze no antifreeze means 
no heat. No heat means those little piggies that went to market, those jokers get cold. We need it in four wheel drive low because we're gonna be in some slushy goodness down here. So let's get situated. We're going about five right now. easier just to crawl through it. Of course, I came out here in me old kicks. Sometimes you can highball grass it. That's this stuff. And get across, I get your feet wet, but it ain't happening. Man, that's cold. So let's go see. I did not hit it. Great, my feet are sucking wet. Oh, but I hit the shell. How does a 3030, have I shown you this already? How does a 35 REM, the rest of these are 22 plinks, and you can see all the holes. And the shell, which came from the farthest point on the, ow, I just got a laceration, which came from the farthest point on Dolphin Island has one 22 hole in it and there's another 22 hole in it. What's awesome about this, I think it's awesome. I've got this light that's solar and it shines on this at night. And it's really bright and really cool. So you can target shoot at night. Let's do something else. Before we do something else, I want to show you this. We've had some big old floods here in the past couple of months. And this is the creek the bearded one cleaned out. It's still nice and flowy, flowy. Some of it off the banks right in here is washed out, but that's okay. So now it's ready for the, uh, the arrowhead harvest. Man, it's cold out here. Let's go uh, do something else. Much better than standing in the rain, hoping an animal will come out. Uh, I found an easier way than that and that and the drill and everything. You simply go to a uh, scrap yard and buy it. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit inside the bottle and then put it around it and then put water in it and then tumble it. I'm over that, uh, that little uh, attempt I was trying with this. So instead of paying 200 something dollars for some turnings off a uh, website, I went to the scrapyard and for $12 got all this. And it's plenty small enough. I may, I may cut up some smaller pieces to put in the bottle itself. But I decided to start with this bottle. There's no cracks or anything. It's just got burn marks on it and uh, whatever that white stuff is. But when you're messing with this, you need gloves and you need glasses. Because when you go to pick it up, it can flick little chips up into your face. So I'm going to fill the bottles. I have no idea how much to put in there. Or if these pieces are too long or too short. But I have nothing to lose, right? So, I know it all needs room to move around a little bit. We don't need these telephone wire looking pieces. And all the small stuff sinks to the bottom. I think that, I don't know if that's enough or not.
Looks good to me. So then, get my gloves off. I don't need a lot more water than this, but I need more than that too since I just dumped most of it on the ground. I'm trying to figure out which bottle I want to try next. I like that one. That is an unmarked of any, or it's free of any marks. That one will fit. So will that one. So I've got a couple options. I don't know if that'll fit or not, because this thing has to fit in there and seat all the way. I don't know if it will. Yes, it will. So I'm going to fill this one up, and I'm going to fill them both up with water. Okay, there's the bottles. I'm trying to figure out if you want glasses or not. So here we go. And that may not be enough water either. And I just realized something. I put copper on the bottom of that and I shouldn't have done that because now I can't put the lid on. So I gotta make some changes. If you ever come over here to this shop or to this little building, do not walk in this room barefoot. You will not enjoy your stay. I wonder if that's enough water. I think I'm gonna go with that much water. Can you hear that? It's loud, isn't it? Okay. Now, come on, by yourself. That ain't gonna work. The problem is these little plastic things to keep it from rolling on metal so to grip on here and twist, they've worked their way down that way. And then they start burning up on the end. When it needs to be up that way more. It's time for some adjustments here. Well, from the looks of it, it's gonna take the rest of my life to polish the bottle. One at a time. We'll start with that one. I'll come back and check it uh, in. What's the current hour? We'll check it in 24 hours to see what it looks like. Okay, this is the next day. I'm trying to find another one that'll fit. You know, they've been sitting here too long when the clover's growing up through them. I'm trying to find another one that'll fit in just a little tiny. Uh, tumbler that I have so I've wanted to try one of these it's a Scarborough that's a neat little bottle it's pretty dirty I think we'll try it out let's go see how this other one turned out it's still turning <laughs> the other one didn't it wouldn't turn both of them remember so also, I came in here late in the eve and I noticed all my uh, rubber had continued to burn off and send itself that way. So, let's see what we ended up with. I want you to be a part of this. Too. Let me do this and this and this and this and this. Get you ready right here. Forgot about that one. 
Everything's on one side. I wonder if that's a good sign or a bad sign. See, ma'am, I'm wondering if all I did was just sitting there and turn around and around and around and nothing happened. What's the next trick? Getting all that stuff out of there. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Anything at all. I don't know if I put too much in there or what I did wrong. So we're going to do it again. I'm going to repack it. Alright, I took most of it out. Let me get out the edges. Now the bottle's up too high. I need a better setup here, I know that. It can't be sitting on even one little cris crispy curly. If it is, then the lid won't go back down. And then you gotta clean off all the edges. Maybe my media needs to be more medium instead of large. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want the bottle one turning. My lid's holding it down. That's probably the case because I got it sitting right on the bottle. But if it's like this... It'll turn around it, right? Theoretically. Right, so let's try that. Alright, it's back in there. I guess we'll check it tomorrow. That's kind of a bummer. I thought we were in the zone on this one. This one's just sitting here still. This thing's supposed to hold two, but this one's quite heavy. Let me show you what happens. It's not the motor that's not turning it, it's the... Uh... Okay, yeah it is. Maybe the belts wore out. I bought extra belts. Now they're rolling. I think I'm going to leave it. I just don't want to burn down what she said. That's what she said. She said. That's what she she's. I'm going to put this one in here and this one. This ain't going to work, is it? I see an issue. I've already had to put a whole bunch of thick gear oil right there. Actually, heavy grease. So it'll turn. I mean, if my finger is barely touching that thing. I got a feeling what's going to happen is it break the... Okay, maybe I need to get it more level. There's a few design errors. That's what it's all about, right? Tomorrow afternoon, this end will be eaten up. It'll be soft rubber. All right, let's go. Still gonna be another one that we can get ready. I wanna show you this light again, too. This, that Wildtech Ace, it's an A4. The light, it has a throw of 617 yards. I wanted to let you know that before we press on. And that 1895 lumens, it has a 5,000 mAh <laughs> battery. What's impressive about that to me, and it unscrews off the end and you can look at it if you want to. That's the same size battery that's in a remote controlled car that uh, the EA Junior has. And that thing will run 30 something miles an hour. So 
Anyway, I'll put the link to this on the uh, on the end of the channel. It has five uh, settings as well as the the burst, flash, blind you, hurt you mode. I want to say something else. I'll tell you something else real quick. I don't get. Um, hang on, let me find my thing. I don't get money to pedal these things. But what they do is they let me keep the light. And they send me instructions on how to open the box sometimes. And when it comes with this little lanyard and it comes with a charger and a little pack of salt. I haven't used this yet, but I better be good on grits. Y'all know I'm kidding. So what they're essentially getting is free advertising forever as long as the video's up. And uh, and I get to keep the light. But I do put the link on Amazon and I do get a little commission when y'all buy one. And a few of y'all have bought a few of these. So I'll keep peddling them as long as I think they're decent. If I think they're junk, then believe me, I'm not gonna peddle them either. So now we're gonna go back to the bottles. Day two. Over the course of the evening, my uh, Chicago Electric Power Tools dual drum rotary rock tumbler, item number 67632, has walked almost off the back of the table. And what I want to know is what they look like. This one I swapped out. I took a lot of stuff out of there. So I want to see how this came out. I put the little flatty in there. Oh my goodness, that looks brand new. It worked. One little piece of metal in there. Wow, it worked great. I don't know why this one didn't do any better. I think I put too much. Uh... That's just one night for that one. It's an old Scarborough bottle. Not a crack or a mark in it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I need a bigger uh, Tumbelina. I might try this one again. Let's look at the other one first. Ha! Huh. You go over there, you go right there. You come over here, and you go there. Where'd my bottle go? There you are, little fella. I'm about to flip all this stuff in my face. I don't want to. I think I put too much in there. The blue ones just aren't doing anything. At all. Let me get the same. Yeah, this is a Snow Bromo caffeine bottle, but it's just not cleaning it real well. It was one day with it. Hmm. I got another Scarborough I'm going to try. There's kind of the difference. And that thing is spick and span like it just uh, come off the shelf with a little piece still on the bottom. I think I'm going to put this one in here. And then I want to try that nasty one right there. But I won't torture it with another day's uh, videos and waitings. But this is working. I'm wondering if my pieces are too big. 
I can cut them a lot easier than I had started before. And I've got plenty right here. It's kind of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching my videos.